Well, um, send in the next applicant. Send in Brad. Brad. Now that name sounds familiar. You know who we are? We're associates of your business partner, Chris Kringle. You do remember your business partner, don't you? Now let me take a wild guess here. You're Brett, right? Y yeah. You do remember your business partner, Chris Kringle. Don't you, Brad? Yeah. Looks like we got you boys at breakfast. Sorry about that. What you having? Hay burgers. Hay burgers! The cornerstone of any nutritious breakfast. What kind of hay burgers? Uh, cheese hay burgers. Nah, nah, where'd you get a McDonald's, Wendy's, Jack in the Box, where? A uh, big cheese hay burger. Hay burgers! That's the Eskimo burger joint. I heard they got some tasty burgers. I ain't never had them myself, are they? Uh, good. You mind if I have some of yours? Go ahead. This is yours here, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. This is a tasty burger. Listen, you ever have a big hamburger? Want a bite? They're real tasty. Ain't hungry. If you ever want a burger, give them a try sometime. You know what they call a quarter pound with cheese in France? No. Tell them, Blitzen. Royale with cheese. Royale with cheese. You know why they call it that? Be be because of the metric system? Check out the big brand on bread. It's small the bucket, that's right. It's the metric system. What's in this? Sprite. Sprite, good. Do you mind to have some of your tasty beverage to wash this down? Good. Okay. Right at the spot. You, Bowen, you know why we're here? Watch the man blitz where you got the cane hit. It's in the cupboard. No, 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 the one by your niece. We happy? Blitzen? We happy? Yeah, we happy. I'm sorry. I didn't get your name. I got yours. Blitzen. Right? But I didn't get your name. My name's Cupid, and I ain't stupid, young buck. Look, I just want you to know... No, no. Look, I just want you to know that we are really sorry that things got so messed up between us and Mr. Kringle back there. We went in this thing with the best intentions. Really. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? I didn't mean to do that. Please, continue. We're saying something about best intentions. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, you were finished. Oh, well, allow me to retort. What does Santa Claus look like? Wh what? Where you from? What? What? what ain't no country I ever heard of? They speak English and what? What? English, motherfucker, do you speak it? Yes! Do you know what I'm saying? Yes! Describe what Santa Claus looks like! What? Say what again! Say what again! I dare you! I double dare you, motherfucker! Say what one more goddamn time! He's white! Go on! He has a beard! Does he look like a bitch? What? Oh. Does he look like a bitch? No! Then why are you trying to buck him like a bitch, Red? I didn't. Yes, you did. Yes, you did, Brad. You tried the buck. Well, Santa Claus don't like to be bucked by anybody except Mrs. Claus. You read the Bible, Brad? Yes. What well, is this passage that got memorized? What if it's the occasion? Ezekiel 25, 17. The path 
of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Blessed is he who in the name of charity shepherds the weak through the valley of darkness, for he is truly his brother's keeper and the finder of lost children. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. Send in uh, the next applicant, please. All right, um, send in, uh, Prancy? Here's my resume. Oh, th thank you. Have a seat, and well, tell me a little bit about yourself. My name's Prancy, but my friends call me Delicious. As you can see from my resume, I was last employed at the local strip club Frosties under my alias Vanilla Kitty. Maybe you've seen my show. Uh, actually, no. No? I haven't. Well, you should come down and see it. It's quite exclusive, so don't spread it around. Loose lips sink ships, boys. Well, anyways, before that, I worked at the circus as a sword swallower, so I can work late nights. I've also been in shipping and receiving department. Receiving, mostly, but I've handled many, many packages. Yeah, I bet he liked that job. Now, let's see now. I worked late nights in the Arctic kitchen doing prep work, tossing salads, that sort of thing. I also worked in the stocking department, stuffing stockings. Oh, and I used to work down the old mill on Ferry Lane, delivering wood to the underachieving elves. It was a fine job. Now, I've never led a sleigh before, but I've led a train or two in my day. My hobbies include nude sunbathing, hitchhiking, hanging around the petting zoo, and playing naughty reindeer games. Look, sweetie, I don't have a red nose, but I do have a red bottom. Well, we don't need oh, by the way, I brought you a present, just a little something to help you decide on hiring me. Oh, well, what is it? It's a mistletoe belt buckle, silly. Do you know how luscious your cheeks are? I thought I was delicious. You're delicious. Oh, okay, I've heard enough. All right, um, I'm not sure I can use you here, but I have a position uh, for you in the packaging plant. Packing? Packing what? Uh, holiday fudge. Sounds sweet. Packing fudge. Super. I have to admit I may be overqualified for that particular job, though. Uh, well, like I said, a position is definitely open. A position is opened up. Oh, stop it, Sandy. Behave yourself with your bowl full of jelly. Is that really jelly in your belly? That's so saintly. Look, I have other things to do. It's a busy time of year, you know? Okay. Are you sure you don't have another job for me lined up? Or you want to give me some hands-on tour of the North Pole or something? Um, I'll get back to you on that. Hmm. Are you sure you don't have a different position for me? What? Nothing comes to mind? Nothing at all? N no, I'm sorry. No, no skeletons hiding in your closet ready to jump out well. and do a dance as sailors? Jeez. No? Not, no, not Okay, not really then. That. You're lost. But you should come and see my show. Remember to look me up. Vanilla Kitty. You're a sweet dumpling of a man. You come and see me sometime. We'll talk soup. That's just wrong, dude. See you, baby. Uh, I think Rudolph's hooves are going to be a little harder to fill than I thought. We learned a few valuable lessons today. First, we learned never to put an ad in a holly saver ever again. Secondly, we found each deer is special in their own unusual way. I think as part of my No Reindeer Left Behind Act, we'll hire them all. You know Dasher and Dancer and Donner and Vixen, Cupid and Stony and Rotelli and Blitzen, but do you recall the most saucy reindeer of all? It's me, Prancy the Red-Bottomed Reindeer, had a very shiny bob, and if you ever saw him, you would even try to get soft. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call me names. You freaking fruitcake, yeah. They never let poor Prancy join in any reindeer games. 
Then one sassy Christmas Eve, Santy came to say, Prancy with your bottom so red, jump in the back and give me some <laughs> Then all the reindeer loved me, and they shouted out with glee. Prancy the red bottomed reindeer, you'd go down on history. Who's history anyway? And what's he look like? That's what I want to know.